Hello, good morning. I come to share something with you guys today. I come to share something special with you guys today. I thought today was going to be a great day. I thought today was going to be fantastic. I thought today is, today is a day that's above all other days. I thought today, today I'm going to feel special, unique. I'm going to be outstanding today. So Wednesday, Wednesday, I came for an interview for a delivery job. Went into the office. The gentleman called me into the office. Went into the office, had my nice clothes on, my best Sunday clothes. That's the clothes that I wear to church on Sunday. So I'm thinking to myself, if I wear my church clothes, it's extra blessing on my skin. Right? Extra blessing on my skin. So I thought today, okay, you got on your church clothes, you're feeling blessed, you're looking good, you're smelling like a sweet lily of the valley. Right? Went into the office with this gentleman, sit down, he says to me, what makes you special? I says to them, I was born special. Nothing made me special. I was born special. I says, whatever you got planned for me, I was made for this. Right? I says, I am the type of person that go above and beyond the call of duty. I said, if you said, if you move, uh, if you ask me to do something, I don't, I don't just step up and do it. You know what I mean? I do it with passion. I do it with humph. I do it with all these nice things that I've got inside me. You know what I mean? So the gentleman says, okay. It's a delivery job. He says to me, have you done delivery job before? I said, yes. I used to deliver a chicken. I used to deliver chicken. I used to work on a farm and I used to deliver the chickens to the shop. He says, okay, have you ever delivered cooked food? I said, no, I haven't delivered cooked food. But I'm telling him it's the same as the chicken. The only thing left for you to do is kill the chicken and cook it down and put it in the car and deliver it to the destination. So he laughed. He says to me, boy, you're funny. He says to me, okay. He says to me, what are you going to do for me now? Right? What are you going to do for me? You're going to um see me. Today is Wednesday. I want you to take tomorrow off, which is which is Thursday, and then um, take the rest of the day off because it's Friday, it's Wednesday morning now at um, ten o'clock. So I want you to go home, relax. Tomorrow is Thursday. I want you to take Thursday off as well. Come see me on Friday. I've got a uniform for you. I don't want to hear anything else you've got to say. He says to me, MK, I've got a uniform for you because I tell him to come call me MK. Right? I'm not gonna tell you my government name because it's it's confidential. Anyway, he says, MK, I've got the job for you. Come in Friday morning, get your uniform. Right? So I turn up now, I turn up. And I think I'm sm I'm smelling good. I had a nice wash. I scrub places that I never scrubbed before. I wash places that never washed before and all these type of things. So I'm on point this morning. You know what I mean? If you look at me right now, I'm glowing like the star in the sky right now. Right? I'm feeling good. You know what I mean? So yes, turn up to the job right now. And I turn up an hour and a half early. Because I says to my, it's a first day, I want to make a good impression. So, turn up to the job right now, outside the place, you never guess what happened. Betty never tell me what happened. Tell me what happened, go on. Go on. The place is only closed down. The place is closed down. I don't know if somebody steal all the stock I don't know if somebody do something dodgy, rob the money and gone with all the money. I don't know if somebody uh, set fire to the building. There's no sign of fire. You know what I mean? So there was no fire. See, I know there was no sign of breaking or anything like that. You know what I mean? There's nothing. The sign says uh, close down. It didn't say close down and move around the corner. Look how I'm spitting everywhere. It didn't say close down and move down the road. It don't say close down for refurbish. It doesn't say close down for anything. It says close down. It don't say close down for COVID. Right? It says close down. You know what I mean? It's like I got fired before I even started. You know what I mean? I got. The, it's like I got fired because today I turned up for work and there's no work. I, I can't perform any service because there's no work. You know what I mean? So, so, so what do I do? The only thing left for me to do now, don't want people to see me crying, is just breaking down in the car and phone my lawyer and see if I could get my lawyer on the case for loss of earning, loss of stress, anxiety, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, right? I'm going to have to catch you later. I'm getting emotional.